Hey, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2. We're taking a little bit of a risk here. I was going to stop recording after the last one, but I, I clicked around and the sync was so good, I gotta ride the wave. I gotta keep it going. We may never get this level of sync again. Uh, I've, I've made a discovery. I've discovered that you can move and attack in first-person mode, which means that this episode will be in first-person mode as much as possible. <laughs> uh, it also means I think I can't lock on, and I think I can't Even jump I either. You remember now? I don't think yeah. he remembers. Right. But, you know, gotta make sure and all, so, uh, um, what's our boss's name? Xemnas. Oh, can't believe this. X E M X E M A N S. Got it memorized? He, I memorized it, Axel. Oh, first person. <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay, reversal, no reversals allowed. Oh, jumping is allowed. Along with jump attacks. Lock on is not allowed. We're just gonna have to move the camera ourselves. <laughs> hey man, if you get sick, you could skip this episode. No one likes the Roxas section anyway, huh? Oops, oops instinct to lock on. Gotta turn around manually. This is engaging. This is content. What the heck are you? Can I guard? Oh, I can. <laughs> now this is the Kingdom Hearts VR experience. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if any of y'all have seen, I think it might be a trailer or something for a Kingdom Hearts VR game and the keyblade swinging like It looks very funny. Axel might be a bit of a challenge in uh, in VR, which is good because you don't have to fight him here. And I forgot, you fight him in the mansion. Part of me hopes we get to the Axel fight in an hour. Part of me doesn't because I don't want to fight him in first person. It's a very cool fight and I want to see it. Uh, hey, what's going on, bozo? All right, I'll play along. You had all that time and you couldn't think of a good punchline to come out of frozen time with. Jokes on you, that was the good punchline. Jokes on you, actually, it was me saying that that was the good punchline, was the thing that was the good punchline. Get freaking joked on. It's meta-meta humor. Post-meta post modernism. I see how it is. He's, like, pretty upset with Roxas for not remembering. It's definitely, like, not his fault. <laughs> like, no one forgets things because they don't value them. <laughs> Like, that happens, but he knew Roxas for a long time. <laughs> like, like if, if your best friend, who you've known for years, see, sees you on the street, and then you go, Hey, what's up? And then they're like, Who are you? If your first response is to then... Oh, wait, I forgot first person. If your first response is to then say, like, Wow, I guess you don't value our friendship. Definitely, like, you're a weirdo. Also, uh, wasn't really paying attention to our HP there. I'm not sure if you could see the HP in first person. I don't think you can. Oh, you, you can, you can. Alright, so that was totally my bad. We'll, we'll make up for it. Uh, it was just a little bit of a lazy play. I wouldn't even call it sloppy play. It was pure laziness. Oh, I, I parried that guy on, on pure luck. I mean, skill. Oh, let's go. Aerial combos. You can't tell, but I'm doing them. Or maybe you can tell because you're a Kingdom Hearts enthusiast and you know the attack speed of air and ground combos. 
Usually how I fight this guy is like I, I reversal and then I two tap him and then I reversal and I two tap him because it freezes like every enemy around him. But that's no longer an option in today's economy. Ooh, dodged. Strafed. Get out of here. Scan? I hate scan. Keep it off. <laughs> I want to bother the fans as much as possible. Unless it's- no, it's 2 AP. We can't afford it. Sorry, pal. Voice said go to the mansion. You got it, pal. Can we ride the skateboard in first person? No, we can't. I think. <laughs> I don't want to, anyway. Uh, fight this guy? Nah, let's just go to the mansion. Uh, which is this way, by the way. Oh, get back- get me back in there. Maybe we could even buy a, a good accessory if the accessory shop is open, but I think time is frozen right now. Think that's right? Hello? Anybody in here? No? Okay. Ooh! <laughs> it's like FNAF. It's a horror game now. You guys probably heard the battle music a lot earlier than I did. Because, like, I saw that guy, and then I freaked out, and then I went, Hey, why didn't I hear battle music? And then I listened closer, and I went, It's playing. It's just quiet. Oh, good thing the map is still here in first person. I don't think there's any chests in the forest. Is that a missed opportunity? Maybe. Maybe one of one of the the few failings of Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> but you know they didn't fix it in Final Mix, so it's not like uh Johnny is anything over me anyway. Yeah, that's like a Big lock. Like, even bigger than the Keyblade will fit into. It's just comically large. It's, it's, imagine a keyhole, like, five times the size of your head. Alright, maybe too big for the keyhole, Keyblade to fit in, but like, big ol' laser beam ought to do the trick, right? Ka-ching! You know, really, it doesn't unlock locks. It really just destroys them. Riku! Riku! Why is Riku in the data world, by the way? That, that gets explained. Oh well. Whoop. Let me in. <laughs> Did you see that ground to air transition? I'm kind of a beast. Did you see that knowing which room to go in first? Did you see that not knowing which room to go in here first? Unless it's here. No, it's staring at the floor because the floor is fake. You know, it doesn't really give you much of a hint. It honestly kind of throws you off. Because, like, the floor goes away, but it has nothing to do with, like, the floor, you know? There's another chest down there. Uh, I'll get it later. Yeah, music in this game slaps too. Head bobbing like a some kind of weirdo. Oh, get me in first person. <laughs> Please. Did I remember a water bottle? Oh, I did. It's not even my throat or my voice that hurts as much. It's the top of my mouth because I burnt it on chicken nuggies. Is, oh, is that me? That's creepy. <laughs> hey, is this like me in a Steven Universe fan fiction? Nominee comes out. It is. You fused with Jasper. <laughs> that, that, that's, um, I wish you'd stop writing fan fictions about me. No. <laughs> that's it. That's the end of the bit. Don't worry. It doesn't go farther than that. Oh, I love this cutscene. You want to know why I love this cutscene? I'll explain once it's done. I'll let you listen. Your mind's made up. Why did the Keyblade choose me? I have to know. You can't turn on the organization. Oh man. All right, may it, it's it must be the continuation of that cutscene. Uh, there's a lo-fi song. That, that starts with uh, 
they'll destroy you. And then he goes, no one would miss me. And then he goes, I would miss you. Boom, 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 boom. You know, it kicks the lo-fi snatch drum beat or whatever. Snare. You know the one. You could probably even find it if you look it up. I've never looked it up. I just heard it on lo-fi 24-hour beats to relax slash study to. You know, I miss when there was a saxophone emoji, coffee emoji in the title. I remember when lo-fi was OG. <laughs> you are Where did Namine go, dude? She's being taken to recode it. God, I hated that one eye pixel. That kind of sucked. <laughs> I don't. Tell me anyway. Yeah, that kind of sounded like Kaiba. Joey Wheeler comes in. Hey, Kaiba, why are you trying to beat me in duel? Why you want to beat me in duel monsters anyway? I don't. I'm going to anyway. <laughs> Oh, oh God! Where the? She was just here. You won't disappear. You'll be whole. I'll disappear. No, you won't disappear. That's literally what she just said. Oh my God, dude. Oh yeah. All right. She's she's got it. She knows what's up. So like, is that that's Ansem in there, right? In that coat. Are you seriously, like, not as strong as she is? <laughs> like, you can't, like, try a little harder there? What happened to no more outbursts? Oh, cute. Uh, now, do I need to get a, a yellow crayon, or is the sketches enough? Alright, let's, let's look at some of these. This is uh, Castle Oblivion, I think, or maybe it's the, the big portal at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1. This is, uh, uh, well, if that's Birth by Sleep stuff, I'm gonna have a fit. Um, we know them. What the? Oh, that's Destiny Islands. Uh, we got the library from Hollow Bastion. This is good stuff, man. The cave door from the beginning of 1. Um, Neverland? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Did they even... No, they have Peter Pan in this game. They have the rights. This is the wall from uh, the bottom of Traverse Town. A lot of people probably won't get that one. Uh, the, this is the, the hallway from Hollow Bastion. The, this looks like the town that Kyrie lives in now. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry that... That's the door from Kingdom Hearts 1 again? Yep, that's what that is. There, There's repeats, okay. It looks like a Axel. Oh, we got a... Uh... That better be Riku, because if that's Aqua, I'm gonna freaking flip, dude. Why is why is Aqua there if that's... I think it's Riku. I see the yellow shirt with the X. And that... <laughs> I think that's supposed to be a Keyblade. This looks like Sora to me, right? Or maybe that's Kyrie. Jeez, this is uh how to draw anime 101. Oh, there, there's there's my friends on the on the sitting on the tree from the intro to this game. That's kind of it's kind of neat, kind of sweet. I swear to God, if one of these two is Shion, I'm gonna flip. Kingdom Hearts do best not be foreshadowing. We all know what that one is. Ooh, what is this one? This is a tough one. Uh, I'll give you guys a chance to get it before I, I give it away. Traverse Town, 3rd District, side door. Bet you didn't get it. Bet none of y'all got it. <laughs> see ya. Oh, you know, let's get the chests. You see, you can see two in the vicinity. Dude, they, they should make this game in VR. I think it would work. But, like... No VR controls, please. Just make it the buttons. I think you could go in those side rooms later. I think there's stuff in there. Oh, you know, you could probably go in that one now. That's probably where we get the crayon, honestly. Because I think we need a crayon. 
Nope. Just a cutscene. I think he's going to draw the nobody symbol in here. No, the nobody and the heartless symbol are already there. What symbol is he going to draw? I'm going to have to check the nominee sketch key item. I hope it's still in my inventory. If not, I'll, I'll watch it back when this video gets uploaded to YouTube. Because I'm very curious what that last symbol is. Because there's no human symbol. Maybe the Keyblade symbol? I don't know. Let's let's uh, let's see if we can check right now. Uh, oh, key items. Key. key. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, journal. Nope. All right, man. You you got it. Stay fresh. Ah, uh -huh. high potion. That'll be useful for that excellent first person. <laughs> oh, Roxas is getting upset. He sees that and he's gonna say, No, no, they they put my nudes on Twitter.com. <laughs> Get him off! And then he starts smashing the computer. <laughs> Get him off! <laughs> he he googles himself, and then he's like, "No, I don't like the results." You know, I think Roxas has probably shipped more with Sora than anyone else. I don't mind. <laughs> That's fine. They could do that. Yo, know, why are some of the chairs just smaller? Like, Vexen's gotta be sitting there just, like, waiting for a promotion, you know what I mean? Oh, here it is, baby. This has gotta be the cutscene. Come on. No. Don't, don't flash back to this. Show me lo-fi. You know, that's a good line we got to see again. Oh, now it reveals that it's Roxas. We still don't know, like, when this takes place. <laughs> yeah, I have no freaking clue. I don't think it's at the end of 356, because, like, I'm pretty sure I played that game. It's a bit of a blur to me, though. Yeah, and then they put him in the data space. What the f Excuse me? It's the face of a nobody. You know, I lied when I said uh, I know what's going on at all times in Kingdom Hearts. Sometimes they throw me screwballs like this, or I'm just like, what is the second personality? Who, who are you talking about? Why are there two fake Twilight towns? No, I think there's only one. I think I'm confusing this one and the real one. Why would they put the computer room in the fake Twilight Town? What a stupid move. Get him off Twitter! <laughs> Are you really telling me that opened the door? If destroying technology ever opened doors, we'd probably have no technology left. Oh, get me in first person, thanks. <laughs> oh, I think it's the Axel fight. I think it's the cool part after we beat some Dusks. Yeah, you know, Axel at one point says, like, don't do it, they'll turn you into a dusk. Uh, like, I don't know if they can do that canonically. 
I don't know if we've ever seen them do that. Or I, I know we haven't seen them do that, but like... I don't know if we've ever seen proof that they can. In-game in lore beyond that statement. You know, Kingdom Hearts lore is very interesting because I, I think most uh, most casual fans understand the plot uh, very little, but probably like still more than the guy that makes the game. It's a very interesting situation. I just got a, a text on my phone. Got to make sure it's not important. Uh, no, it's not. Actually, I get a little insight. Uh, Nick's playing Luigi's Mansion on his YouTube channel. That's the only reason he would ask me how to beat Bulasis. And I'm gonna say, mash L for fat ice girl or suck em and spray em. Gotta give him the quick response because he's probably live right now. And you know, this will be a uh, a great little narrative you could piece together if you watch both of the channels. Hi, Big Bean. <laughs> I honestly, I think besides me and Nick, I don't even know if Nick watches these. Uh, I think besides me, I think it's just the Big Bean that watches both. Well, no, I know, I know Nick does watch at least a little bit because also, sorry, you're not gonna see any. Uh, any dual keyblade wielding action uh gotta be first person for this video you can you can see it when we get valor form with sora later oh god this fight's hard in first person <laughs> it's very like it's very funny i'll give you that potion up nah just hit him it's so good Burst edge, what is that? J just hit him. Send him. Why did- wait, when did we put scan on? I don't think I ever did that. Why is scan on? Did I put scan on? Why aren't I just mashing X and triangle? Good question. Why aren't I turning the camera? Better question. Ooh. Good strafe, good strafe. All right, let, let, let's let's heal, please. That was tight. Yeah, this fight is probably like one of the greatest fights in video game history, honestly, because because uh, of how cool the two Keyblades thing is. I thought I could mash triangle there. I guess I can. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the, this fight's pretty sick. Sad you didn't get to see it. Maybe you should look it up if you're curious, or if you don't know uh, how it goes normally. Yeah, Roxas goes all like, ding a ding a ding ding Don't worry, Sora's gonna go ding a ding a ding too. Oh yeah, but he has the two cool Keyblades too. He doesn't even keep his original one. He gets like the two end game Kingdom Hearts 1 Keyblades. Kinda sick. You get on their bad side and they'll destroy you. Here it is. No one would miss me. That's not true. I would. <laughs> God, I love Vaporwave. I made a pretty sick Vaporwave image that I think is uh, is likely best enjoyed through another camera. You know, you don't want the quality to be too high. You want that, uh, you know, lo-fi aesthetic here. Yeah, check it out. It's like, uh, I think it looks pretty pretty cool if I can get the angle right. Well, you probably got a general idea of the whole image. You can text me, I'll send it to you if you like. I I, I think it looks very nice. Th this this little orb here drives me nuts. Cause you it it's like for way later in the game, dude. And I'm just like, why does why is it here right now, dude? 
I'm pretty sure it's like not even like this. We're in the day data twilight town right now, aren't we? Oh my god, are we? Why is Sora here? <laughs> I'm so confused, man. I thought I knew it's a Donald Goofy? Goofy, like from Disney. No way, dude. Is Walt Disney's brain gonna be frozen in the next room? Oh my god. Dude, I love Disney so much. Oh, I, I hope, like, Mulan is in the next room. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, who's it gonna... Maybe Aladdin. Who the heck is this guy? <laughs> it would have been a lot funnier if the pod was opaque and you can see Sora, but, like, that's basically the, uh, the bit. This guy is like, it's revealed at the end that he's a good guy. So why is he such a wad right now? He's like, good. <laughs> Your anger may brings me joy. <laughs> I like it when you swing your keyblade at my data. <laughs> then you're a tool. <laughs> that's, that's such a, a good setup to call someone a tool. Because like... You know, tool generally means stupid, but obviously, like, he's using it in the other sense of the word, but, like, he's also using it in the, the traditional sense, I think. <laughs> this is a data-based projection. You're gonna have to swing harder than that. Ooh, <laughs> almost got me that time. Oof, Nick fought Bulasis and then died when he had one boo left. I'll tell him, I'll show him my vulnerability. I died in KH2 on the first boss. We are both getting exposed. You know, we, we, we could text each other during YouTube hours. <laughs> yeah, dude, Sora's got no anger. No, I, my heart, I'm uh, Roxas. He, uh, <laughs> he really does not learn the data thing. And then he's acting like he's surprised. Oh my god, is it going to be Mickey Mouse in there? <gasps> Who the heck is that guy? <laughs> I don't know him. No, wait, is that... Is that Sora from Kingdom Hearts 1? You're lucky. Dude... <laughs> Oh, you didn't get to go to the beach and have the pretzels. How hard is it to make a beach? Yeah. Here's some rumbling upstairs. I think mom might be coming down. If it happens, we might we might cut it a tad short. <gasps> it's Mickey Mouse. Dude. I, I mean, who's that guy in the black hood? <laughs> Maybe if he took off his disguise, I'd see who he was. Sora. <gasps> was that Riku? Who's there? Was that goofy? Yeah, you know, I know, it, like, he grew, and his Kingdom Hearts 1 costume is too small, and that's, like, a plot point on why he gets a new one. But, uh, Sora's kneecaps are extremely cursed. I do not like seeing them. In addition, like, seeing that much of his, uh, his arm... Not my favorite either. Goofy and Donald didn't grow a bit. They're full grown. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> We've been asleep for, for that long? Where'd you sleep? Cold storage? That's a that's a Sid joke. Coming in from later in the game. That's right, I played the game eight times. Why do you think we went to sleep? 
Yo, make note of every time Jiminy Cricket does not get introduced. Anytime they go to a new world and they go, Hey, I'm Sora, I'm Donald, and this is Goofy. And then Jiminy just gets the, the boot. And then Sora will also... Well, you know what? I'll save that bit for later. Are you seriously telling me Jiminy got rid of my jungle slider times on his notebook? I worked really hard to get those jungle slider times. You really telling me he lost the Dalmatian logs? I still had to get a couple of Dalmatians. It'd be really useful to know which ones I was missing so I can compare it to my, my Brady games guide. Oh god. Maybe now we can check what difficulty we're on? No? Yes? Maybe in a uh, status? No? Maybe in config? Still not there. Alright, Sora's got some new abilities, right? Absolutely not. Why was Scan on, by the way? Oh. I know why Scan is on, because Roxas was using the Valor form ability set, which has Scan on by default. Not only by default, but by mandation. Alright, first thing you gotta do when you get Donald and Goofy, you gotta tell them, Donald, you you gotta stop. Uh, use Cure freely. Use Donald Thunder. Well balanced. Because we want Donald to be curing us. Technique. Right, individual techniques. We're gonna go Sora attack, that way, uh, we get, you know, enemies cleared out. I'm actually, you know what? I, I usually go Sora attack because my theory is like, you know, melt down the specific enemy we're targeting. Sora can handle that. We'll just, party members, uh, if I took this close, so I don't know what this one means, but this one seems to be, I just want, wait, I'm sorry, what? While Sora attacks, party members will support him. Oh. Oh. You see, I thought Sora attack was target attack. Or the other way around or something. Anyway. Uh, I'm thinking party attack, maybe. Because, like, you know, I can handle my dude. Let's have you handle your dudes, huh? I'm gonna put him on Technic attack because I just want him to attack the soonest, you know, the first guy they see. And I think that might be what we're looking for there. Got another text message. On cam? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let me check. Um. Uh. <laughs> oh, I hate his knees. <laughs> nope, that's not a roll yet. Oh, I miss rolling. <laughs> Alright, so I know I complained about the shoes before, but Goofy's shoes are long. They look like half cucumbers but like they went bad Guess I must have you see how low goofy's pants be riding goofy look like he about to start rapping while doing the crazy leg i don't even know what the crazy leg is but goofy got it so am i in the real twilight town now i think i i am mm. You know, that wouldn't make much sense. How did I get out if Roxas was in the data one? No, maybe he maybe he was in the real one, but the guy was just a data projection? Just wondering what was back here. Hmm. Now you know. This is oh, jeez. <laughs> um, did I forget to move in first person, or is this still cutscene? I think we're still in a cutscene. I didn't move as Sora yet. No, I did move as Sora. I moved as... I'm sorry, guys. I moved as Sora uh, right after we got outside the mansion. That's totally my bad. Independent studies are the worst, huh? Homework. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Goofy's like, I, I can't read, bro. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Hey there. That's one. Where's Jiminy? <laughs> Donald, Goofy, we just met someone who was looking for you. <laughs> sure seemed in a hurry. He had a black coat on, so I couldn't see his face. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it was Mickey Mouse, like, like from Disney? Uh, like, Disney? <laughs> oh, you, you mean the king. At the station. The station, thanks. Well, we'd better get back to that assignment. Later. Yeah, it's about time. You spent the first game, the entire first game, not trying to find you. Yo, this game has a sick mechanic that you might not see, so I'll just tell you about it now. Where when you die on a boss, Mickey Mouse has a chance to come in. And if you thought Roxas looked cool uh, swinging his keyblade everywhere, Mickey Mouse looks absolutely mental, bro. He's like... It's nuts. Casting orbs, reviving Sora. It, it's just, it's the sickness, bro. Does Sora have no skateboard? Yeah, Sora has no skateboard until revisit. Well, hello there. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> it's like I'm in Canada. Having such a great time. That was a slow pan, huh? You really took a you took your sweet time. You know, the playthrough has been mostly cutscenes so far. I think it's gonna change soon. I think we're gonna get into some some real gameplay once we get into the Disney worlds. <laughs> so I was like, is that a is that an X? I I can't really read either. <laughs> Yo, another thing you'll notice in this game, uh, whenever there's like a, the Kingdom Hearts characters are confused about the, uh, extremely whack plot, Goofy is always the one that knows what's going on. He's like, oh, I get it. Ansem is the nobody of Zemnos, and he, he wants to create nobodies out of the organization's Heartless. And then everyone's like, oh, I get it. And then I'm like, what do you mean, bro? Who is Zemnos? <laughs> I went over to ask about the nobodies. Yo, did they, did they just increase my strength and my AP on the same level? That's why this game's nuts. By the way, I wish I could show you Sora's attack pattern because it's different and unique from Roxas's, which makes it kind of cool. But, you know, you'll see it next episode. This is the first person episode. Had to, had to do it early before there was too much gameplay, you know? <laughs> where am I? Dude, when are they going to give me the cutscene where they're all like, there's too many of them, and then Mickey Mouse comes in and he's like... Don't worry, I stole that stupid idiot's blue crystal just because I hate him. Uh -huh. That's that's canon, dude. Mickey just absolutely despises Roxas. Sora and the, Donald the Goofy looked like they were targeting appropriately there. I didn't notice any discrepancy. Granted, I didn't really see the whole uh, combat field, but we're good. Oh, they're they're tired, you know. You know, ju juxtapos ju juxtaposing this with the uh, Thousand Heartless battle is uh, pretty funny. How they get tired after like 15. <laughs> I'm in disguise. Don't let Roxas know I stole his money and stupid ball. <laughs> <laughs> Sora's like, does this say 
Jay? <laughs> yeah, Goofy knows what's going on. He's not stupid, man. He just talks funny. <laughs> it's uh, it's very funny that Kingdom Hearts uh, 2.7 or 2.8 or whatever had to justify their, you know, like give a reason why Mickey had his shirt off in that cutscene. And they did. It's the one time Kingdom Hearts bothered to fix a plot oversight. <laughs> oh, did Donald hear me laugh? I'm sorry, Donald. One more. We have to board the train. Oh yeah. Goofy gets it. Come on. Money. Orb. <laughs> and some report. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we friends now? Hey, Sora? I missed the memo. Nothing, but we came to see you <laughs> Could you, like, give us our money back? <laughs> we, know the, we know the mouse stole it. Thanks. You should hurry and get your tickets. Right. <laughs> right, I'll get them with this money, and then shows her the pouch. She's like... Oh wow, that's pretty much what happened, huh? <laughs> Yo, girls pockets versus boy pockets. Funny meme. Three tickets, please. Donald's five five nine, Goofy's six foot. Funny meme. You know that ticket booth had a little bit of Traverse Town aesthetic on the way it uh the way it curls, you see that? I know you're feeling it. You're thinking too much. Yeah, you're right. Ugh, that face is a little cursed. Jeez. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Come visit us again. I I will. I think I think I, I uh, you do that later in the game. <gasps> Chester? I don't know if I ever knew about this chest. Two Chesters? Dude. Did you see that flippy dippy? Yo, check this out. Well, let me let me put myself where I could see that. Looking good. <laughs> All right, get on the train. Um, I I want to go on this one. <laughs> that one scares me. Oh, I, I forgot something very important. <laughs> All right, Donald, I think you're the... Uh, the leave man I don't I don't think there's anything left to do in Twilight Town that I forgot okay, let's go I need some new shorts Bye. hey Sora you sure we haven't met before positive why do you ask I'm sorry, I, I laughed at the face. It was a funny face he was making, that stupid smile. Yeah, and then a, t a 
tear just rolled down his eye. Perfect timing. That was, that's not supposed to be funny, but it was really funny to me. Oh, I, I thought he put his arm over because he was going to shut the door himself. I'm like, what train do you have to do that? Yo, did I line up my face cam perfectly so there's like no black line? Nah, there's still a black line. Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> well, boys, get your post-it. Get your post-it note strips, you know those things where it's like a post-it note, but it's like this big and, and this long, and it's uh, com pretty much completely useless, except you're, unless you're using it as a bookmark. But they give you like 500, and there's no way you're going to need 500 bookmarks because they store it in like not even as big a package as regular post-it notes. They store it in like sets of 500 packs of 500 each and you just have more than you could ever deal with and they're still in your drawer even though no one's used them for years because no one even reads books anymore you read things online that orb is literally a hexagon you know <laughs> Maybe that's why I should have played Final Mix. Yeah. We can visit Hainer and those guys again. Oh, guys. <laughs> I don't think the train is going to the to the other town over. Zone. Be careful. <laughs> like I think we were in the ghost zone. <laughs> I was gonna say Scoob, but that is not a shag voice. That's a goof voice. That's an OSHA violation. That's like Leaning Tower of Pisa, except people live in it. And that bush is polygonal. I don't know if you saw the bush, my face might have been blocking it, but you know. My face is blocking the top left of the screen for you, but my laptop is blocking the bottom right of the screen for me, so I can only see, like, the first half of my HP bar, so when we get a little bit more HP, you're gonna see me doing this a lot during battles. Hope you don't mind. I might I might just move the computer a little bit. You're gonna have my face cam a little bit more angled is what's more likely. Let's go into first person here. Ooh, I I, I see Peter. Yo, you know what I've never done before? Mario Baseball? I've never called him Pete Piranha. <laughs> or uh or Pete Per. That's almost sounds like Peter. Yo, now he's gonna do the Peter Pan voice thing, he's gonna go, It's me, Maleficent. Pete, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Was Pete in Kingdom Hearts 1? I don't think he is. So he, he would have no way to know that Maleficent's toast. Maleficent. At her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless, special for her. Special for her. Oh, why am I talking to you, pimp squeaks, anyway? Go on, scram. I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. <laughs> <laughs> what, like, it's just coming from Goofy? It's such a savage roast. Did they really not know? He just told you what he was doing here. He's amassing an army of Heartless special for Maleficent. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. What? <laughs> what do you mean Pete got banished to another dimension? Well, 
There's some Yu-Gi-Oh! Shadow Duel type stuff going on. Like, it's over for you, Pete! Uh, Alright, hold on. Shaggy says like, Mickey Mouse does not. Oh, it's over for you, Pete! I summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon! And if you couldn't beat one Blue Eyes... What hope do you have against three? She's toast. Well, we might have had something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, that fight is hard, Maleficent. Hard if you don't know how to cast Aerial and then cast Cure for 20 minutes. <laughs> Lamau, funny. Hard if you don't know how to use Strike Raid 15 times. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1 stops being hard a couple hours in, you know, probably like 10 hours in. Uh, and I, I would say Kingdom Hearts 2 is just not a hard game, uh, but the first boss pretty typically gives me some challenge, and then after that it's just uh, Demix and Zaldin are the only scratching points after that. Oh, I know. Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Last one once and was here. Yeah. All right, bye, Donald. <laughs> wow, sounds powerful. So, like, is he the guy from Fantasia? I think he is, right? <laughs> Pete is about to throw some hands. You're gonna get cr Why doesn't Pete just like come in here and beat us up? Nice move, Sora. What do we got? 52? There's a long cutscene coming up. I think we ought to... We ought to cut it here. No, I... I think there's a save point up there. We can keep going. Oops. Oh yeah, this song kind of slaps too. Thunka 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 You'll never beat me, heart guys. Yo, are we getting two experience from each shadow? That's a step up from KH1. Oh, now we're gonna see soldiers. Nice. I like these guys. They go, they go all clickety clackety, you know? Very cool. Magic increased. Spoilers, dude. <laughs> you could you could pick a wand at the beginning of the game. You know, the entire time I'm beating on these guys, I'm like, I wish I could do anything besides just, like, press the X button. Like, maybe cast a little fire. You know, I'm kind of just crushing it. Uh, oh, I guess we had to beat those guys. I was under the impression I could just go out the door. God, Sora put some pants on. Can't look at that. Mm. I forgot to go into first person. I'm so lazy with that, bro. Yeah, I bet you wanted me to end the episode at 52 minutes. You didn't have to watch this anymore. Ooh, you know, you, you gain a lot of insight you wouldn't have otherwise gotten when you play in first person mode. Who knew that was up there? A little Final Fantasy VII, uh... What, whatever the old floaty dude's name is. I'm very curious how they're gonna do him in the remake because he was like... He was just a floating clump of polygons, if I'm being honest. I had no clue what was going on with him. Heidegger, I think it might be his name. I think it might be Heidegger. 
And that and that's gonna it's gonna be a problem. If Heidegger is in Final Fantasy VII, but he's not the guy I'm thinking of because then like everyone's gonna get confused. I'll give you a little peek. You know what? I am gonna move the the webcam a little bit, slightly annoying me. That looks good. I I can see the health bar now. You know, I built a uh, a Kinex machine to to hatch eggs for me in Pokemon. Where like it was a little, it was a, like a, a circular thing, and it would go up and then down, and up and then down on the thing. So like my dude would walk slightly, and I'd tape the B button down, so he'd be no no, no I'd I'd ride the bike, so he'd be like, vroom, 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 uh, and it would hatch eggs extremely slowly, and it took me a really long time to build the machine. Uh, but yeah, I had it running overnight one night, and I was able to hatch like six eggs with a machine that took me like two hours to build. Uh, I gotta get one of those for the triangle button, so I'm always hitting reaction commands. I think that'll be beneficial for me. Ooh, we got the long climb. <gasps> Air combo. Kill this guy and then get me in here. Okay. We're good. <laughs> that looked a little janky. There's a big smile on my face the whole time because I love Kingdom Hearts too. Yo, he waves his hands slightly. Boom, they're a pickle now. Sora, Donald, Goofy. I have something very important to tell you. I saw this new show about a scientist. He turns himself into a pickle. Funniest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, this is a heartless. <laughs> you must be well prepared. You mean we have to go on another quest? You were gonna do that anyway, you goon. Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone. Or with your friend. And whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm the key? You've been the key for like a year, bro. Kashing. <laughs> Whoa, put that thing away! <laughs> Gonna knock my head off or something. Jeez. Where am I? <laughs> I, I don't want to read that. I'm not reading it. This is pretty much uh, what's going to happen here is, uh, do you agree to the terms of service is uh, basically what this book is. Alright, I think it's a perfect time to find a save point. Quit. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll open what's in the big chest first. Find out what's in the big chest here. It was me!